Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG All the Mods 4 server. And no, that's not Acid Reflux there that you see that stripe in front of me. That is mana, and that's because I'm wearing a monocle in my eye. And you can see there, I like how that looks. It makes me look a little bit more refined, which counteracts my overalls and cap. But that's okay, because the nice thing with, with Botania is then you can sit there and look at whenever there's uh, mana spewing someplace i know you know i can see it through all the blocks plus when i look at flowers like this hopper hawk it tells me it's got a 11 by 11 range and this signolia has got uh, even a higher one i can't see the end this guy is just a three by three so it's pretty small and so that works out very very nicely and you can see i've got it is kind of annoying how it keeps highlighting stuff so i think i may actually pull that off for the nonce and we'll just pack that away for for later use oh yeah uh some quality of life and uh, upgrades here on the the server we're on version let's see it's all the mods for it's 0 0.3.1 is what we're on and several things were added including these small backpacks so the small backpack pretty cheap to, to make and then you can use that to make the medium size backpack and then you can use that to make the large size backpack uh, which is what i've got right here and I was hoping that would get on my back, which it doesn't. So, oh, well, uh, that gives me this huge space and I can put other bags inside. So, yay, that works out very, very nicely. Uh, the other thing I want to do, uh, we'll ignore the fishing pole for right now. I want to make a tool belt. That's another thing that came with it. Um, let's see, the backpack was from useful backpacks, but this is from the, the mod tool belt. Hey, that's what it says on the tin. So let's go ahead and make that. And I'm missing leather? Really? Oh, I was making so many books. All right, let's uh, make some more leather. All right, <laughs> tool belt. I'll probably need more than that, but there's the tool belt and uh, it currently has zero upgrades on it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more leather. There, let's make uh, all the leather. <laughs> I think we're done. Uh, so that's the the tool belt, and if you by default the B command shows you this, you can put that in there. And oh, that actually, I've got the belt. You can see the belt buckle there. Okay. Uh, the thing that that's nice about that is now you can hit R, and it brings this in. And I could take. It's kind of an interesting the way it comes up and goes out all right i'm going to insert my axe my axe is now in my tool belt and let's see do i see that there it is i don't know if you can see it there's that little teeny tiny axe there below my right hand <laughs> that's kind of cool okay um so uh but uh the 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 standard rule are i want to pull that out the standard rule don't upgrade B. Don't upgrade stuff with stuff in it, because that would be bad. Uh, so I want to sit there and make some tool pouches. Let's make two, three. Let's make three. Uh, now, can I just add this like this? Uh, it's not upgrade, because it says upgrades. There are no upgrades. All right, how do I upgrade you? Oh, there's two. There are three there. How do I upgrade you? This is where I should have looked it up before I did this. Uh, can I R you? Uh, no, because you're not on my tool belt right now. Oh, can I just use you? Nope. <sighs> All right. So it, slightly non-intuitive upgrade. I wonder if that is something that is in the anvil is a possibility. Let's try these things out. Now I've got a pair of anvils over here. If I put this here, that there, that's exactly what I need. But I am missing some experience, so let's grab some of that. I want the experience, this stuff the confection all right i just counted and made sure that i had all the bits i needed there are nine levels that should allow me to upgrade it all all right so it is an anvil charge can i do more no well uh just to be on the safe side let's not so this now has three slots 
four slots. And, oh, enchantment went up. I was thinking, of course, it's just going to be three XP each, but no, it goes up, of course. So uh, that now has five slots. Okay, R. You can toss that in there. And so now I can insert. Nope, nope, I didn't want to. Oh, did that swap? I think that swapped. It did. Okay, insert and then R, insert. And now I have just my dagger around for stabbing bad things and it's a whole lot less room on my bar if i hit r i've got room for one more Ooh, i can just if i just click it swaps or this to insert okay let's look at my belt so i see two things on my belt okay so there's just two things on my belt and all the rest of them don't show up but there's a cute a little axe and a little shovel i like that although i do think i'm going to get back my my dagger okay uh, nothing else on here are, yeah, I just had, so I have room for two more tools, which is pretty cool. Because uh, I, I would like to have both a fortune tool and a um, 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 uh, silk touch tool. So, um, oh, hey, ye oldy fishing ye holy. <laughs> yes, that's what we'll be doing right now. Uh, in fact, let's take a look. Uh, we did that. Uh, go away. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Uh, also new in the pack is the chunk loader. The, the plain chunk loader is there. So that's not all that hard. I don't have, oh, I do have a clock. I didn't realize I had a clock. Okay, now I've got a chunk loader. Let's load this. From what I understand, it's a three by three. So let's uh, put it over here for right now. Oh, it's an actual block. Okay. And no tool. There doesn't look like there's any interface on that let's uh oh if it's no tool i can just punch it i really don't have the need for a chunk loader right now so you know yes could i chunk load this yes do i really need to no so i'm gonna hold off but that that is now a chunk loading option in the pack which is very very nice to have uh speaking of something epic i'm gonna go ahead and cook up some epic squid this is cook squid which you just get from regular squid, and I've killed lots of squid to get the uh, the squid there. And now I have epic squid, which is handy because you can see I have, I'm gonna just walk a little bit further over to the edge carefully. Uh, you can see I've got uh, a haunch and a half of hunger missing. Because I've got the health five add-on, I should have all orange hearts down below, but every time I log out and log back in, all those hearts are gone, which means I consume my food really fast, which is why I have moved my everlasting gobstopper, which is really great, uh, into here, because I don't always necessarily want it to consume food for when I'm gone. But look at the saturation in this. Holy cow. All right, let's, uh, let's eat this. Woohoo! Whoa, look at all those effects on me. Oh, wow. Regen, water, breathing, invisibility, resistance, haste. Okay, the last two, absorption and night vision, those I got from elsewhere. That's an amazing food. Oh, and you can't see me, <laughs> but you can see my belt. And my <laughs> so, um, grok the floating talking tool belt here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, that was sufficient to just get me all the way back up. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> Holy cow, that is uh, good food. Uh, I'm actually going to put that right there just to remind me it's there. And then I will get rid of the experience. Whoosh, 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 gone. Uh, I like the, uh, the, ex the confection. Uh, that is really A, good food because it fills me up. And B, really a lot of experience. All right, so... Uh, we've done those and uh hey fishing rod let's actually make a fishing rod because i've been doing a huge amount of afk here just so that my my blaze mesh will burn up and you know if we look down there they're all about the same level and so that's uh except for this one this is a dominant and the one down below is a dominant oh have you noticed that i'm not flying yeah, um, what happens is these, you have to take the the flight, whatever has the flight augment, in this case my chest, has to be taken off and put back on every time you, you get in on and off, uh, log in or out. And I was going, ah, that's annoying. 
Anyway, so uh, because I've been doing a lot of AFK, and I said, let's AFK a fish farm. But before we do that, and the really fast um, people that, that looked really quickly or maybe slowed things down with a pause have noticed that I've got some enchants on things like my Supremium chest plate now has protection five, mending and unbreaking five. And so do I legs. Well, that's because I use this mana enchanter. Now, if I try to enchant this in a regular uh, vanilla enchanter, it didn't seem to work. And I don't know whether it just needs higher levels, you know, more magic around it, or it just doesn't work. But this enchanting setup with Botania does, and the thing that I really like it about this is it does not consume the books, which means if you have a book of what you want, that's all you need. And that's one of the reasons why I have so much mana pool um, stuff going on here. So I'm going to go ahead and put Luck of the Sea, Lure 3, Unbreaking 5, and Mending on this fishing pole. So you just smack it with the, 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 the lapis block in the center. Those four ticks that you heard, that says those four spells were added. They have to be single spell books. And that means it's done. Uh, you can't have uh, multiple uh, spell books, you know, or spell books with multiple spells on them. Okay, if that makes sense. Uh, that just doesn't work. And unbreaking goes here. I've got lots of unbreaking, lots of mendings because I've been stripping spells off of stuff. All right. So now I have a very nice fishing rod. And we can put this away. And let's go downstairs to ye olde fishing ye holy. Okay, I, I do this because I'm silly. That Y there is a non-typewriter way of saying the, because that's the thorn, it's the TH character, but um, we don't really have that TH character in our normal 26 letter alphabet. And so the, the people many hundreds of years ago speaking English, they actually swapped the Y because it looked the closest and so that actually is not ye, it's the. But because, you know, people often have, you know, ye oldie. And so I just add extra ease on everything because I'm silly. All right. So let's go into ye oldie fishing ye holy. Now, this is my fishing hole. It's very, very small. Oh, close the door. Not raising the barn. And it's, it's, it's about as small a fishing setup as possible for doing AFK fishing. And let's grab all these items. Uh, let's see, I need a, a note block there, and because we have this glass, you can't hear anything, which is very nice. I don't want to hear anything here. Uh, I do need a temp block. Uh, let's uh, bring this guy back. Arr. There we go. Uh, I need a temp block here, and then I'm going to put a spruce fence. Oh, get back on here, you. And if I waterlog this with my bucket, See how the water pours into there? That's exactly what I'm looking for it to do. All right, let's uh, break that, put that back over there. Now, I could have a normal uh, a hopper here to suck things in, but I'm not going to do that. I am going to use a, there we go. This is the uh, ender hopper. It's a fast grab, and it really doesn't matter what's in the area. It, 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 I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, the next thing I need is my pressure plate, and I also need the uh, trap door. Now, the that one I'm putting ab above the, the the block level of the tra uh, the note block, and then the trap the pressure plate goes right here. Okay. Now it emits a signal, which if if you're standing there on the pressure plate, ugh, the water. Um, it allows me to uh, cast a lure, and if I target the note block behind the, the trap door, I can continue to right click on it. And the nice thing about this setup is it will also gain me experience, as well as the various, hey, there I go, I just caught me a fish. <laughs> uh, and so that will go ahead and catch me some, some fish as well as gain experience. You can see I've got, what is that, three-fourths of a bar of experience taken up, which is very nice. And so I figure if I'm at AFK for my Botania to generate mana, I might as well AFK here to make me some, you know, good stuff. Um, I'm looking for pufferfish. 
Oh, I didn't want to actually click that. Let's click down here. Uh, raw cod. That's what I've got. All right. So uh, the the next thing is, what do I do here? Well, I can't just sit here forever holding down the the the, the right mouse button. Uh, well, I could. I could put something to to weigh that down, but that's kind of silly. So instead, what I typically do when I AFK is I go into my controls, go down to your to this one, and I set it up to L. Ooh, what's using L right now? Uh, use item. Oh, advancements. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want that. Go away. All right. Uh, the the updated pack um, changed that. So now I can take a little um, piece of metal that I've got here and I can wedge down my L key and it will just run and run and run. Oh, it's got to stay in there. <laughs> Don't fall down. And uh, it will just run and run and run and work and work and do the stuff because I'm going to go off right now to get me some lunch. Eight hours later. I mean, yeah, it's been about eight hours of AFK work here, which is not too bad. Let's uh, take a quick gander and see what we got here. Holy cow, what are these things? Uh, let's do a sort. Ooh, rotten flesh. Okay, so a bunch of rock cod, and, and this, because of what, Agricraft, uh, Aquacraft, is, um, I think, the, 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 the basic fish. Uh, is this raw cod. So there's the salmon, tropical fish. Yay, puffer fish. Okay, I wanted some of those. Algae, huh? What can I do with algae? Nope, not puffer fish. Algae, what can I do with algae? I can make a tackle box. Okay. Uh, bows. A lead. That's got to be a llama that came by and got knocked off. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, insight. Okay, see, because I've got luck of the sea, lure, unbreaking, and mending, which is kept up with all the stuff. Insight is nice because it gives you extra experience as you do stuff, so that would be good. I'm breaking and breaking, lure mending, I'm breaking, yeah, so uh, those are good. This is interesting. Seems to be good. Of, oh, so this will take me to a village. Oh, okay, okay, well, we'll definitely try that. Uh, I do like tripwires, string. Okay, what the crud is this? Okay, R. Uh, I can make it out of Neptunium ingots. Um, there's, it doesn't look like much to, to make those. Uh, what can I use these for? They look like chests. Okay, let's grab a pair. Let's open up the stuff. Close. And yeah, they just look like chests. Can I put them down? Huh? Ooh, it's got loot in them. Okay, algae, driftwood. A Neptonian pickaxe. Alrighty. What about you? Ooh, Neptonium fishing rod. Fish are more likely to bite. Well, if I if I want just the fish, come back here, yo. That's definitely a, a possibility. Okay, so that looks like I may get me a full set of Neptonian uh, stuff. A uh, lost tablet. Let's see what we got with the lost tablet, because that is interesting. Uh, because I was disenchanting things, I threw down a bunch more graves just around. Uh, no real decoration on them, but uh, let's see. Where does this take me? Uh, okay. And now do I right-click you? Uh, yep. Whoa. Hi. All right. There is a farm here. Uh-oh. Incoming mobs. Hey. Hey. That's right, you get him. Hey, hey. That's right, you die. Uh, alrighty, so yeah. The, <laughs> this is an interesting farm. Oh, let's just kill this guy here. So, um, definitely a, a, a village with the, the, that lilac field. Oh, this is the uh, sunflower. This What type of plane is this? Prairie? It is a prairie biome. All right, so that is a cool... Oh, I still have it. I wonder... It looks like it's lost its connection. So this is a way of getting, ar getting around. Oh, okay, for a split second, I was thinking that that actually looked like a bed on top. <laughs> I was going to say, what is a bed doing on top of that? Uh, some interesting uh, village shapes. I'll have to explore this place. 
kill off some of the, the mobs because I should have waited till it was day. Uh, map, that's what I want to see. Where the heck is it? Oh, it's not too far from, from Grokberg. Okay, well, cool. All right, I'm going to head back to base that away. Only a thousand blocks away. I didn't know. I hadn't explored over here. Anyway, I'm back to base. I need to do a few things. I'm curious as to some of the other stuff in Agricraft or Aquacraft. So this is the haul I got from my uh, chest, these Neptune's Bounty. And I'm thinking this might be a very easy way to get something that's probably at least iron level, if not maybe uh, diamond level uh, stuff. Uh, looking at the, the, the these things, the, the swords are pretty good. Well, I can't really compare to this, but uh, this has a damage of five. And if we look at this pickaxe, it's a damage of eight. So maybe better than diamond if we're just looking at you know the the the, the stats on these um, but very very curious one of the things i looked at this if i hit you it looks like we can melt them down into ingots because i got two helmets leggings and boots but i'd like to get a full set of everything so i can melt down the things um i i would be nice if i could melt these down because you know they're i got a lot of them and don't really need uh the algae looks like only for making the toolbox Message in a bottle is interesting. I'm not sure because that's something I can right click. Whoa. Oh, these are the messages. <laughs> Press Alt F4 for free diamonds. Choking hazard, keep out of reach of children. Uh, look, yep, look back at your return. Back at this message is now diamonds. Ah, it's the paper. <laughs> so, yeah, these are the various silly messages. <laughs> Grind up diamond armor every morning and eat it for a Huh, now you're littering. Okay, so nope, nothing. It's so that's messages in a bottle. <laughs> Those are silly. Uh, tin can. What can I use this for? Oh, I can smelt that down into nuggets. Interesting. Lock box. Can I use this? Ooh, I got an iron ingot. <laughs> so yay, free resources. I'm rich. Uh, and the driftwood. It looks like I can make planks out of those. So I'm going to go ahead and process these. And I th didn't see anything interesting here. Power protection cavalier. I think that you have to be mounted for cavalier. Um, I, I there's with a, an additional. I think it's mon chance is in the the pack. And because of that, uh, there's newer spells, including night vision, which I would like to get, and I was hoping I would get. I may do some more uh, work on this to make this. Uh, there's one thing looking at, at these these various things there's these fillet knives and then this if I make a Neptunium fillet knife uh, it increases the number of fillets I get out of these fish because there's no food eating straight these fish you know it's something that needs to be filleted it looks like into a fish fillet and then cook eh, not a great amount of stuff there but I did notice these fish mounts so uh, let's let's actually make a fish mount there it is. Alrighty, so spruce, got lots of spruce that will match. Iron hook, well that's easy. And then I need spruce buttons. I can do that. I think four or five did it need? It's five, okay. Let's make one more. There's five, now we can make this guy here. Spruce fish mount. And since it's a very sprucey since it matches this let's take a fish uh, you know i think i'd be more uh you know do do i celebrate the fact that i caught a big salmon or i caught nemo i i don't know would one uh, let's go with the salmon can i do it? okay that's way too big for this uh can i shift click this out no nope. can i oh okay so i can it must have gone into here. Let's take a tropical fish because it's small. That eh, looks kind of lame. Uh, let's try a puffer fish. How do you look? <laughs> you're so cute with the big bulgy eyes there. But you're looking sideways, so that doesn't look so good. It keeps getting snagged by the, uh, the hopper. Oh... Uh, little goldfish oh, I can't mount the goldfish on there oh nope come back here you 
I wonder, because I haven't tried any any of these aquaculture things. Let's try a minnow. Oh, nope. <laughs> that just seems so sad to have a minnow mounted. All right, last one, last one. A bluegill. Bluegills are tasty. Let's uh, put a bluegill on there. That's a decent looking trophy fish. All right, okay, we'll, we'll leave that there. I, I can't think of anything else I really need out of here at this moment. I'm going to put all these away. I will melt some of these down and uh, get me a full set of the Neptunian uh, armor. I think that would be nice to have. Start putting up an armor stand around. This is worth keeping as a... And that's a nice find. That's a great way of finding a village, which I like. And uh, there was something else fishing... Fish... This, the, reinf the the fisherman strainer, and I had done the other strainer, which gave me a bunch of items, sticks and clay and stuff like this. But this is another way of getting enchanted books and fish. So I think I will actually make one of those. Let's, let's do that. Close the door, not raised in a barn. All right, so to make this guy, I need this and a mesh. Oh, that's easy. There we go. And we'll head over here to where my fishing strainer stuff is already set up. I put some torches. You can see there's a mega torch there and there's a mega torch right there. Tossed them around and decided I, I didn't want to, uh, to have too many bad mobs coming after me. Uh, I could get some bait, although that's, that's a different thing. That's the water strainer, not uh, this, but... Uh, this will hopefully get me some other uh, books because I'm, I'm curious. I did some enchanting, but that didn't seem to, to get me much. And some of those enchants, if there are multiples on the, the book, I need to apply them to something and then disenchant them. And if you're curious about disenchanting, then the easiest way to do that, disenchant, yep. Using uh, the Corel Tombstone, you can make this Book of Disenchantment, and then you put your book, your your tool in one hand, and then you right-click this on one of those graves. That's why I planted a bunch of the graves. So that, it's a really handy, handy thing. Let's take that, toss that away, toss that away, and I can let's fix that, and then R to put that away. Insert. There we go. I like that tool belt. That, that tool belt is very nice. I've got my bow on there, the fishing rod, and my shears. And it's really nice being able to clear up my inventory. Um, oh, speaking of clearing up my inventory, I went ahead and added spells. So now I've got Air Infin Affinity, Aqua Infinity. Both of those, Aqua Affinity means that you break blocks faster when you're in the water, which is one of those things I really enjoyed having while I was making the... The, the guardian farm uh, air affinity also means that when you're in the air you break blocks faster than normal uh, respiration means you breathe better underwater uh, this one down here uh, feather falling six fantastic stable footing is like the air affinity it means that when you're in the air you break things uh, better and uh, let's, let's just try this really quick okay R. let's get a shovel and I enchanted this to give me silk touch. And uh, it also has efficiency 10. <laughs> yeah, that's like near instant breaking. So uh, that is fantastic. In fact, uh, let's just show off that we can do this differently. If I, uh, did I get a new, put that there. Uh, I took off the helmet and the boots, so. I'm not really seeing much of a difference. I think the 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 efficiency eight on there is, or yeah, efficiency ten is amazing in how fast that works. All right, let's put those away. Uh, but the mending on those is very very nice. So I have some very nice armor, and I'm thinking because I've got such nice armor now, and I I dumped a bunch of good spells on here, this might work really nicely for killing withers. Uh, before I had sharpness 5, now I've got sharpness 10, and I can fly, I've got, I think I could s withstand a wither very, very nicely, and it could do me very little work, or very little damage on me, other than the withering, which is not much more than what I did. Anyway, so uh, just kind of a little minor tweaks and, and uh, additions, and, and getting myself a little uh, 
uh, farm here. Uh, the reason why I have this open is uh, it's supposed to, you, you're, if you have uh, your water exposed to the sky, you're supposed to get uh, a better efficiency on that. Uh, although I'm not sure if that's the, the, the case here. Also, if it's raining, you should get even better efficiency for, for, for catching the fish. It's, it's no big deal having that in place anyway. So, but yeah, this is working really, really well. And oh yeah, I took off my monocle. That's why I can't see that uh, giving me more mana. And yep, I all the, those enchants suck down a bunch of the mana, but that's okay. That's what it's all about. So I am really liking my tool belt. Oh, you can see my bow and my axe on my tool belt now. I, I don't know what is maybe these two slots are what uh, show up first i don't know but it's 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 a cool effect i like that having that and it, having a clear bar is pretty nice so i think i'm gonna do a little bit more afk and see if i get some more spells and then i want to build some stuff the you know build stuff around here but i want to build some stuff elsewhere Anyway, this has been Grok the Duck Farmer having a blast here on the All the Mods 4 server. And thanks for watching. Bye.